What is up all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here. And we want to thank you for listening and watching Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. We are on episode 139. One episode away from finishing this season. Season 7 is almost over. And I'm not alone today, as you can see. I am joined by the one and only... Satan. I mean, Wildfire One. I guess I'm, I guess I'm Satan to some people. I'm joking. I'm joking. Satan. But um, yeah, you know what? Well, first of all, let's start off with thanks so much for being um, patient for this episode. It's been a crazy two weeks. Uh, it has been a very crazy two weeks. I had a birthday, yeah. and then on top of that, a bunch of other life stuff happened, and COVID starting up again, and it's just a lot of stuff getting in the way, and we want to thank you guys for being so patient with us. But we do it. We do it because we love to do this stuff, and uh, we got to have time to do it to do it, so that that's more yeah. or less what I'm trying to get to. Uh, we're gonna What we're going to talk about today, we're basically going to do kind of like a, a channel, a state of the channel review, uh, but what channel are you talking about, you, you might be asking us? Uh we're going to talk about Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitch, everything everything that we got here. We're going to we, we're going to talk about some stuff like what maybe to kind of expect to us in the future and kind of what we've been doing. You know, it's we don't really talk about our own stuff that often. I mean, we we touch on a few things here and there, but I mean, th- that's about it. Yeah. And those who are just listening, we're both rocking beautiful hats. Oh yeah. Tell us about your hat, Grizz. So mine is a wool felt I guess you can say it's kind of like a bowler hat made in the Czech Republic. And uh, it keeps my bald head warm. I was expecting to start singing Back in Black. Back in, Back in Black! black. I'm wearing a fedora. And one of the things Grizz said was kind of funny. And I really don't really rock fedoras in my own opinion. Every time I see myself in this, I see one thing. I see Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. But yeah, we're rocking hats today. It's a Friday. We're recording this on a Friday. Also, we want to tell you guys, I mean, we should probably touch base on this because we're probably not doing a podcast for uh, the weekend of uh, of uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Because a lot of us are going to be doing stuff with the family that week. Uh, I've got the whole week off of work. I'll be doing some streaming, maybe some Phasmophobia. I really want to finish up, not getting to what we were talking about, the state of the channel. I want to finish up uh, streaming Final Fantasy IV. Uh, it's been a while and I'm really close to the end and I want to finish that. I do. I want to finish that. So I really should start getting on that. Uh, I have, I have several other old school games I want to play. I want to play a bunch of, uh, games on my, like my, my SNES classic, the PlayStation classic. Uh, I've got some old, older games that I actually own that, that for like the SNES that I want to play. And, and, you know, unfortunately I want to play some games. I want to play and stream some games for my, uh, my PS3, but my PS3 died. No. So, I mean, I might get another one eventually, but right now, thanks to COVID, funds are tight. Uh, I can't even, I'm not even getting a PlayStation 5 well, for two reasons. One, I never buy a first edition. Mark my words on that, people. Nope. Never buy a yep. first edition. And two, I'm a broke bitch. Amen. <laughs> so. Well, first off, I just want to say thank you. The fact that we're over 400 likes and follows on facebook hell yeah i mean that's just nuts well, I, I mean wild and i were we're talking when we first put the the facebook channel together we're like man it'd be nice to have like 50 yeah. and now we're over 400 right i mean i i know for a lot of you out there especially those of you that that follow us that may may have bigger channels you know, thousands, pond thousands. Doesn't seem like many. We're, we're not in it to make money. We're not in it, you know, for a profit. We're entertainment. We're because That's we, what we want. We want, to, we want to entertain. Yeah. Well, we want to make you guys smile. We want to make you guys laugh. We want to make you guys jump with whatever jump scares we have. We do it just to have fun. And the fact that over 400 of you like us and follow us on Facebook, that's... Hits us right here mind-blowing it it's gets us right in the feelers and we're grateful we really are yeah and we've we've done a lot and transitioned through the years and i'm glad that the people that that were with us from the beginning are still there and it it takes a lot you know oh i don't even think i have 100 friends on my personal facebook account in general so it blows my mind that 400 plus people like to listen to us and like like what we're talking about and like to 
watch the, the content that we're putting out. Yeah, yeah. And, and like our memes on Facebook. You know, because that's literally yeah. we're posting a lot of memes on Facebook. YouTube. YouTube yes. is uh, we're about three hundred and ten people. I was very surprised. Uh, we had an influx, like uh, a, yeah, from two ninety nine, we hit three hundred, and then within like a couple days, we were three hundred and ten. Yeah, just uh, and it's, so. I mean, every time I, it, it it's an honor every time someone like follows us and. I'll, when I'm playing games, like I've been streaming Phasmophobia, and every so often it scares the shit out of me when I'm playing. But like, of course, you hear the the notification go off, right? And every time it happens, it freaks me out. I'm like, oh god! And then I'm like, oh! And then I'm like, I'm excited because you know we got another viewer, we got someone else that's that's showing their love for what we're doing. And yeah, uh, yeah. I try to uh, I try to like acknowledge it, but unfortunately, the way I've set up, I can't see it most times when. Um, Mm-hmm. when i'm playing unfortunately i'm trying to figure out a way to get a good chat in there like to figure out maybe because when we multi-stream we can't do the multi-chats yeah. so uh especially when i'm playing like phasmophobia i i tend to ignore the chat unfortunately and i'm not ignoring you guys per se it's just i'm so into the game um, yeah we're still working on trying to yeah figure out some than better than what we got this multi-streaming thing is completely new to me and uh, i'm i love it but i'm but we're still trying to work out the kinks so if for a while i was just thinking maybe we should just stream on twitch because it's easier uh the chat's easier everything's kind of set for that when and if grizz ever gets a computer he's gonna be streaming a lot too yes i will be whenever i'm home yeah, yeah. well he's a busy man you know he's been out he's been out partying in other states every other week I, I can't really deny that, seeing as how I'm going back to Idaho next week. So. <laughs> well, yeah, but you're doing that for family, right? Kind of a family. Yeah, thing. yeah. I'll still be partying, though. Yeah, well, got to have Yeah. They haven't invented teleporters yet, so. Yeah, that's what I'm really pissed off about. I mean, Elon Musk, get on it, bud. Yeah, stop fucking around. The, the space shit's been done, guy. Let's Let's do some... Teleport. Yeah, hey, we we don't need a colony on Mars, not for another couple thousand years. Nah. Get on that teleportation. Mm-hmm. Driving's for the birds. <laughs> driving, yeah, especially if you're driving along. The older you get, this is what I learned, the older you get, like, remember when you are younger, like, I love long car rides. Yeah, the older you get, no. Fuck that, dude. Fuck, I loved, I was excited for the Texas trip last year, but glad to see my family. I was ga- glad to go up there and do what we did. And it was fun to go with my dad and have an adventure, but fuck, fucked if I was tired of sitting in a car. Right. Uh, when I got home, I was like, my bed, I've missed you. <laughs> you know, like, I, I've, I've missed my video games. I missed it. I was so glad to be home. Uh, do I want to go back? Fuck yes, I do. But do I want to do the drive again? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a 21-hour drive, I believe. Uh, one of the things we'd like to do on the show eventually is maybe go on a road trip and record the whole thing. Yeah, that would be fun. We've talked about Disneyland. We've, you know, you've heard us talk about this in the past. And we've talked about like a cruise and stuff like that. But uh, finalize those plans. And of course, COVID uh, right now. Yeah. Well, th- there's one thing that, that I haven't really, like I, I mentioned to Monster um, a little while back. And I think I even mentioned it to you, too, but um, just ever so briefly is uh, getting the crew, the the local crew anyways, and a couple of the local fans, you know, Nani and Zach, and go deep sea fishing. I think you did mention that, yes, and I like that idea. And, I mean, it's, we can go right there at Amoro Bay. Do like a nerd camping trip kind of thing. Yeah. You know who would like doing that? Who also would be good to bring in with that? It'd be uh, P Rock and and uh, hashtag. Yes. Yes. We love the camp, and we could have maybe we could have a big, a giant booze tasting thing. Okay. Okay. So so we record the deep sea fishing. Mm-hmm. Then we go back to camp and do a giant fish fry, and Fuck then yes. do the booze brothers. Just all tore up. Fuck yes. We have to figure out what kind of booze we want to do. Uh, Tashtag made a good point. We've done everything but whiskey so far. Oh, okay, okay. Well, um, well, I already gave him. I already promised him that he could pick the whiskey. 
But I'll pick another whiskey. Yes. I'll see if I can get a jar of clear. Well, let's, yeah, that was that, actually you, me, and Dread need to get together again and just drink. We need to just have more Romulan. We can't drink Romulan without without Dread. It just we just can't. Yeah. Well, and seeing as how you know tax season's right around the corner, yeah, he's going to be MIA again. Yeah. Dread's the person you call for taxes. Yes. Free free advertisement, Dread. You're welcome. <laughs> But uh, I miss having him on the show. He needs. I was talking to him about that last year, and he's like, "Man, I can't wait to be on the show." And he just it because of COVID and everything. And tax season kind of got extended last year, so he was oh, extra yeah. busy. Tax season was supposed to be over April fifteenth, and it didn't end until July like fifteenth or something like the that. end of July or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, he's. It. I, I can't wait. I want to have him on the show again. I want to talk. There's all sorts of stuff I love talking with that guy about. And we've all, all three of us, were just like the three fucking amigos. Yeah. You know what? I think one of the things we should mention and say is that, like, is there anything you guys want to say? You know, that in, in a lot of our videos, we, we ask, you know, leave a comment, let us know what you want us to play, what you want us to review. And we actually have had a few people uh, reach out to us, a few of our fans reach out to us and say, hey, you know, I want you to play this game. Um, you know, watch this movie. Let me know what you think. You don't even have to record it. Just let me know what you think. Yeah, uh, I, I think someone did. I think Nani asked for Final Fantasy VII a while back, and I'm working my yes. way up to that. Yes, she did. I've been watching The Mandalorian. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta get caught up on that. I, I don't like. Yeah. Having to watch it episode and then wait a week, and then I, I want to yeah. binge watch that bitch. And I get why they do that. Good job, Disney Plus. You, and I heard they're doing fucking amazing on the Mandalorian in this season. Oh, they are. It's so good. And I don't know what the big deal is. So with, good. With people talking shit about the titty armor, like why is that a big deal to you people? Why is that? Why isn't it? It doesn't matter. Like or or that uh, or Baby Yoda ate a fucking uh, an egg. What's that fucking matter? He's not even a real fucking creature. <laughs> Once you watch that episode, you'll understand. It's, oh, it's, it's, I, I it's fucked up, but hilarious. But, man, but Baby Yoda eats everything. But and that's what I'm saying. Like, why do people, why are people getting so mad about that stuff? Like, it's, guys, guys, it's Star Wars, okay? It's in a uh, galaxy it's a far, far show. away, a long time ago, or whatever. It's a show. It's a fake fucking creature. It's not it's not even it's it's an animatronic eating something that doesn't exist. You're freaking out about stupid shit. When in, 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 and I'm going to go on a rant. This is this is happening. Sorry. Guys, if you have nothing better to do than sit and bitch about titty armor on a Mandalorian and bitch about stuff like baby Yoda eating a goddamn egg, you need to go get a hobby. Go do something. You need to go get laid. That helps. Maybe that'll make you feel better. Something. Like, and that's coming out of my mouth. I bitch about metachlorians. And that's all I'm going to say without getting too far into it. I don't even know the politics behind it. I don't care about the politics. I don't. Fuck that. Let's just enjoy the show. Don't. How, how about that? Like. <laughs> I gotta ask, why are you Little laughing? It's a simple why thing. am I laughing? Because you're getting mad at people getting mad over stupid shit. Oh, uh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm, I'm gonna go break something. But anyway, uh, I do gotta watch The Mandalorian. I will say this, October came and went really fast. Yes, it did. You know, we did a lot in October, too. As far as content? Yeah. The Magical Land of Yeld. Yeah. Or finally, finally finishing that up. How are you liking that, it's, by the way? Tell, tell the audience. As of this last episode, still getting dicked when it comes to dice rolls. Now, now in in regular D and D, you can you can ask Wild. I am second to none when it comes to dice rolls. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. In Yeld, um, still have not been hit by anything, but still have not gotten close. To hit anything. The monster, on the <laughs> other hand, is the uh, attack queen. Uh, yeah, he, he is the ultimate mermaid hunter. He's killed uh, of four of the five mermaids. Yeah. Poor Ice Cold died again. Dave the dog. Yep. Yep. 
that's it was sad it was a sad day but i mean for fortunately for you guys you guys are in yeld they'll just bling come back so magical land of yeld is is actually a really cool uh game and we'll eventually get to the full version again when i get the money i'm gonna get the funds i'll get the books and we'll play and one of the cool things about it is that uh, each game is a different gm so like say play one day and i'm the gm so the next the next time Grizz is the GM, and we all have to tell him what we want incorporated. Like, I'll be like, oh, I want weasels and wombats. And they'll be like, he'll have to put weasels and wombats in there somehow. And it just goes on from there. Each player gets a chance to GM. And that's, you, you probably heard us talk about it when we did the podcast with the, with the creators. And that's just ingenious. I think it's a damn good idea. That way the, it, the GM actually gets to be a player. And I think that's the big yeah. problem with, like, D&D and stuff like that. When you're GMing, you, you kind of wish you could play. You get a little bit of that player envy. Uh, what else we got going on? We got a few games. We got games coming out. I think that Beyond Two Souls is going to be a long one. And I'm okay with that. The game, the game, it's an amazing game, and there's a few other games I want to try, but again, going back to what we said earlier, what do you want us to play? What do you want us to see us play? What do you want us to check out? Uh, do you want to watch uh, Monster Skinny Dip and uh, an Ice Pond? Oh, and uh, next season, uh, we do already have uh, our next uh, nerd challenge. It is myself against uh, Monster. We don't have anything locked in as of yet. They do have some good ideas. Uh, we just don't know the when or where. When, where, how, um, and all this other. Yeah. Because we we gotta we gotta find a place. I mean, might as well let you know now. We we did the level up weight loss challenge, um, and Monster and I got second and third, and so we're gonna change things up a bit, and we're gonna do a food eating competition. <laughs> Um, but we're just trying to find the where, um, we've got to find a location that will allow us to record, um, well, especially now, uh, COVID and all this, but the, by yeah. next season we should have, it should be a little, hopefully a little better. Uh, I offered, I said uh, big steaks or huge hamburgers or something like that, but they, they got a plan. You know, we, we've, we've got a, f- a, f- a few things that, that we're, we're tossed around, you know, we were tossed around. You know, like the the burger challenge. There's a few places uh, around us that do, you know, like famous burgers. Mm-hmm. That you got a certain amount of time to eat and all that. Let's see. A little, and, and, and as far as like, as you mentioned the challenge. Uh, thanks for being patient with the punishment. The pun. Well, we're waiting on Ice Cold to kind of do his side of it, and we're supposed. To, I'm supposed to sing with him, and uh, it'll come out. We haven't forgot about that. Uh, it's we're we're getting it together just with everything else going on right now you know and you know life all this stuff um it's uh we're getting to it it's slowly just, but surely but we are getting it to just it just takes time we're getting things done yeah. yeah i've got stuff going on ice has got stuff going on and again that's why the last two weeks we didn't have a podcast we've been just running around like chickens with our head cut off and you know i had to celebrate my birthday pretty much yeah yeah. Well, and, and here's another thing to look at, too, guys, is, you know, you look at all these other channels across YouTube, 90, I'd say between 90 and 95 percent of them are all under the age of 30. And Wild and I are well above the age of 30. Well, that's lost Sean Connery. Recently. Oh. Uh, that was kind of sad. That was two weeks ago. In fact, that's what this podcast would have two weeks ago or a week, uh, the last week when we we're going to do the podcast and then other stuff popped up was originally what we we're going to talk about was the death of Sean Connery and, and uh, how much, how many movies that guy has been in the nineties. And I mean, come on, dude, he was, uh, he was 007, man. He's my favorite 007. Uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, uh, Highlander, lots of really good movies uh, the rock. Lots of really, really good. The movies rock. That, yeah. That he was in it. So it was, it, you know, we're, we're two, fuck 2020, dude. That's all. Yeah. Rest in peace, sir. R.I.P. And fuck 2020. Yeah. We've lost a lot of shit. Did they didn't take Betty White though? No, no. Betty White's gonna outlive Cher. I, I swear they're gonna find like Cher's dead body. She's just gonna be like sitting still, and, and she's gonna look just fine like for ever. And they're just they're gonna realize like, oh, she ain't got a pulse. She's been dead. <laughs> she's been dead for 20 years. Yeah. Oh, well, God. her and, and uh, Madonna is gonna be just as bad. 
You guys are probably no, wondering who we're talking about. Who's Sharon Madonna? All these younger kids. What? <laughs> who are these guys? Back in my day, whores were whores. <laughs> 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 They're certain about being virgins. Nowadays, you got swinging on wrecking balls and, and wop. wearing granny panties and, and wop, you youngins. raunchy ass people. <laughs> you youngins in there, wop. And enjoy. And we got one more episode after this. Uh, yeah. Which means that. And don't forget, it will be a live stream oh, yeah. podcast. I will be airing it on probably multi streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Well, well, you know what? We we can't talk about the state of the channel without like going back to your birthday pot, your birthday, uh, that little mini podcast we did where we had where John we, Abelardo. We had John Abelardo on, and that was I mean, talk about a present. Really cool. That guy. was freaking amazing. Oh yeah. Really cool guy. Really awesome. It was. If you guys hadn't seen it, go back and check it out. It, that was a live. I, I didn't. I don't think I edited that one at all. I did. Uh, it was live on everything and. I think that was our first multi-stream or actual multi-stream podcast. And, yeah, yeah. Because uh, we were really, on uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Yeah. It was a really cool um, surprise for you. YouTube. Emmy award-winning this guy animator. Freaking Emmy! He met freaking Mark Hamill, dude. Like I'm. Well, they they worked together yeah. on uh, the animated Batman series. He was also, I mean, I, I, again, we we can go on for hours over this, but I, I did. He was also big on like, he also had a lot to do with the Castlevania Netflix, which ah, mm -hmm. you've heard us we, talk about that, and we did a podcast on it. It was it was really it was just an honor to have him on here, and it was an honor to meet him, and uh, and, and the fact that he said that he wants to come back. Yeah, you read my mind. I mean, the PS5 came out. The Xbox Series X came out. And that's cool. Oh, yeah. The the new iPhone 12 uh, doesn't come with a charger. I heard about that. There's, like, the new consoles that came out. I've already heard that there's problems. I, I don't want to get into that because this isn't that podcast for that. But it's, I've heard that each each one had kind of problems on launch and, like, like example is uh there's there's some problems with like i guess the startup for the playstation 5 the xbox series x is catches on fire oh fun so you know each one has its own thing i haven't really looked into it so i can't tell you guys 100 percent accuracy on what what the problems are but this is what i do say never buy a first gen console first gen yeah and those of you who learned that the hard way, I'm sorry. I'm not. We told you already. $500, $600, whatever well spent. <laughs> but if it does work for you and you got a good one and it's and everything's working out fine, then good. <laughs> always, always wait till Gen 2 or 3. Next episode is going to be 140. It's going to be the Big Boss episode, season finale, and uh, that'll be the end of season seven. That also means that we're going to be on our hiatus. Uh, it means that we're going to be taking a three to four month, maybe a longer break, because God damn it, we need a break sometimes. We're not going to be doing podcasts. We're not going to be putting podcasts out, but we are still going to be, you know, making videos. For sure going to see other video games played, live streams. I guess we're done, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I know, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I know that uh, this episode was kind of a little different, but that's okay. We need to do something a little different. We haven't talked about us as a show in a while. We had to have a topic. You know what's better than me? I mean us. I mean us. <laughs> There's a number you can call. That you guys can get a hold of us, and all you have to do is leave a voice, ma voice message. You don't have to talk to us. Just leave a voice message, what you want to see us do. You wanna you wanna uh, tell us what games you want us to play, what kind of podcast topics you want us to talk about, all that stuff. You can tell us to go fuck ourselves as long as you're calling. We like that. So uh, that number's what? Grizzly five five nine 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 seven six eight zero three. Again, that number is five five nine 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 seven six eight zero three. Love you guys. Except for you, you're an asshole. Love you. <laughs> Till then, everyone wants you to stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always. <laughs>